Hi, it's Jack Lyons, and I'm giving a quick review of this uh, WordPress SEO tool, Squirrely, um, that I use. There's there's a lot of other functionality and settings. If we come in, oh, sorry, these are all under Squarely, so I'm on the Performance Analytics tabs. Darn it, let me go back. Um, gives a lot of good advice, but um, like here, first off, I've already um, optimized these articles, and let me scroll down to some, you can see where, like there, here are some that I haven't optimized yet. And, and what I one thing I like is he, right here on this page, it's showing me the Google um, ser um, search engine rank value where I stand at that, and I can tell it. Oh, let me go see if I've if I, oh sorry not that one if I've uh, improved any. Um, I guess I just filtered on the twelve. Sorry, let's make it back. Reset filters. Um, as you can see, I haven't used it that long. But uh, let's let's see. Actually, I just did this one a little while. I just optimized it. Let me see if um if it's gone up any. Anyway, the, um the ranking is really nice to see here. But what you'll see when you get into it is how easy it is to make sure that your publication. Oh, great! So now I suck on it. <laughs> anyway, um to see how your publication can be optimized. So let's pick this one I have. Well, I don't want to do that one. Let's do an easy one. I saw this Venn. Where's my Venn diagram? There we go. Okay, so I haven't optimized this one yet. Um, so I'm going to say edit. And it integrates very well with the, uh, the editor section of WordPress. And so it's going to pull up here. And first off, like it, it dumps in... I guess I already had looked at this once before, So, but I can come over here and say... I'm going to do some keyword search. Um, let me clear that and let's just do Venn Diagram and do a search. And here it'll come back and show you some um, estimated traffic off of those words, but it also puts in some other words. So see, it offers up some things for you and it gives you an idea of um, how much volume is there is behind it, how many people are the competition right and then this trending stuff um, I typically I look more I want to rank high and I don't I'm not as a lot of stuff I do is very niche so I don't really care if the volume is too low as long as I'm gonna be able to rank high on it so once you do it I say okay now I want this one so I'm gonna use Venn diagram oh Venn diagram compare but Venn diagram and let me you know what I think I will look Venn diagram how competition none exact search okay that's interesting um, if that's true, then I think Venn Diagram is what I shall search um, use as my keywords of basically this is my goal. Um, let's do more research anyway. So use this keyword now, and I can get rid of this here. So first off, let me let me look at this. And here, sorry, this is what one thing I really like, which actually it looks like I already did. Unfortunately, optimize this one a lot. Um, it, but it is telling me I need to add a couple words here and there. Let me, uh, you know what, I'm just going to update this one so I can save what I did. And go back to one that really, um, what happened was I switched accounts after I decided to go ahead and pay for this account. And it's not, for some reason, um, doing a good job of keeping track of which ones I had already optimized. The second I go into it, it'll see it, and I update it, and it comes back here and says, okay, now you're doing good. Um... But, uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit of a bummer, because right now I just have to go into each one. So, here's one. No, I think I did that one. Ah. Uh, I can't remember if I did this one, so I'll open it new so we can jump back there easily. And, again, it's going to open this. We'll have, if there are keywords, so web scraping, yeah, it's already been in there. And see all the green, um... So I'm just going to hit update, so I, I, I know I did that one, but... Uh, da, 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 using options. I think I did that one already. Um, let me do this. Let me go to posts, all posts. So maybe these are all that I've already brought into. Um, they have something going on with Squarely. Um, because you'll see I have a lot of posts here, a lot more than were the other one. Unfortunately, they don't show you the... Oh, it is showing that. It just doesn't show you the rank. Um, but I can see... OK, 
Okay, I'm pretty sure I did not do this one. So, open a new window. And, okay, so he's here, here it's even telling me, like, hey, you don't even have a goal, idiot. Alright, maybe I'm saying the idiot. Um, so, I'm just going to say SPSS and variable, because I've done this on some other ones, and I know, actually, I, let me, let me again demonstrate this part. So, I'm going to come in here. Oh, it looks like it actually even borrowed it from there. SPS variable name, exact search. Low variables to cases, define variable, variable type, variable names. Um, but I think uh, none of these have SPSS in them, right? And for me, it, it's critical for what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to leave it with SPSS. I'm going to go with that. Minimize this up. Exact search 10. Yeah, great. <laughs> it's just, like I said, I don't really care because um, I, I want them to be very happy when they get here. And and here actually, let me let me show you this real quick. It is a, a cool feature, although I've stopped using it too much. I use it to get ideas, but um, it'll show you images that are related to this. And if I want, I can just pop one right in there, right? Um, and look at it. Um, I could I could change the size. Um, what it's linked to. Um, and, and added, it already grabbed that for me, so it did it correctly because I put in the alt text for my keywords. However, um, what, what I've been doing is all like I'm going to put in here. I'm going to say add media, and I'll pick my SPSS. That's macro though. SPSS macro. That's great. They're both macro. You know, I'm going to change this one to be variable. And we'll put it a little smaller. So now this button here, and what you'll notice is see how these are a lot of them are white, um, and some are green. Uh, and see here, bold one of the keywords SPSS variables. So right in here, um, let me see if I can keep that on the screen. So if I put SPSS variable. Now, notice all of a sudden up here you saw this big green flash and down here, but I still haven't um, um, bolded it. Which, where did that go? Oh, right here. So, when I now, oh, and, and look at that, it's even, it's even highlighting stuff for me. Um, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to bold that, and notice that just, just turned green, right? And the other thing is like, okay, I actually... Um, interesting enough in the URL because I've separated them apart. I'm going to say SPSS variable and notice it changes there but I am going to add a little because I do a lot of other stuff so um, names, labels. Okay. So that had changed that um, but it is telling me, let's see, kind of keywords that's looking good. Over optimization, I gotta write a little bit more stuff. If we want to have variables, labels, uh, so I'm trying to think of something here I can write. And actually, I've I've been moving my video part down, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Put it down here. Um. So I don't really care for this part up here. I'm going to get rid of that, but add it back right here. So notice uh, it it comes and goes as I do the stuff. It's very um, interactive with it, which is I just love. Yeah, been there many times. how to use all right I'm not going to keep writing this for here because I want to show you the rest of the stuff um, let's say keywords are in title keywords are used in the headline um, so and also it's not as I wish they would make this a little more dominant but this is the content in title and um, 
I need to add some more words because I just don't have enough words. And it, that's what it's telling me is like to really to be come up and sh search. Um, and actually, this I'm using SPSF. I know that. Um, setting up. Oh, I don't have setting up at four. There we go. All right now, I checked one more box. Um, and then there, like I said, I know. You know what? I'm just gonna. So and did you did you notice here it's, it's telling me how many more I have to write? Wow! Now I have. You know I'm gonna copy all this so I'm not typing. There. So now it's saying I have enough words. Obviously they're not making sense, but that for this purpose it's okay. Um, and then down here, um, first I'm gonna say this is this is the like the metadata that'll be you know if it comes up in a search and whatnot. So I'm gonna first hit update because. I changed my URL, and I think this will go back, and it also go get the new name. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like it didn't, unless I yeah. So actually, I want to have this. And I'm going to come in here, put that down there. Oh, now it's looking better there. And and I used to have the the URL the L for the video, but I don't want to drive people straight away to there. I want them coming to my site. Um. Oh, and also, so it's shown you the count here of how many you should have, um, and if you if you do too many, well, I'll do it on this one because I'm I'm close. Um, it'll it'll warn you. Um, it's the big one I have. Variable will show up in my SPS output. So see now I'm already too long. Um, ironically, I was gonna. Right, so this video walks through. Um, all right, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll, f you know what? Let me just go ahead and just so it's shorter because it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to come back here and was it this one? No, it's this one. So SPS is variable, and it's it wants this darn. It wants it at 472 um, by 250. But I'm going to go ahead and just set it to that, and it's not atrocious. Um, I'm going to save this, and this, I believe, will go out and ping the servers, letting everybody know that I have this um, article. And so so now, overall, it's looking pretty darn good. Um, see how much greener it is? Oh, the, the other thing I didn't um, mention, so I'm going to hit update here, was, see this bar here? This tells you how optimized, overall, out of 100%, I, who knows how it's calculating it. But still, rule of thumb really keeps me on the ball um, in making sure that I'm I'm nailing it right so every one of my articles now is, is doing much better and when I come back into squarely to performance analytics this bar here you'll see also I didn't I've never seen anything documenting this but um you can just eyeball that there and say like how optimized they are and you'll see some of them dip down um, and like this one right here right I even though it looks like I did something I haven't done enough uh, but it's 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 really really handy. The other things they have some great advice and a good mailing list. But um, let me see if in here just real quickly some of the other stuff that it can do. So it walks through and makes sure a lot of your your um, core you know things that should be done are taken care of, and and then it it helps you you know just make sure everything's populated and gives you good green lights and flags for people like me that are idiots and I don't know all the stuff um, really make sure that you've crossed your um, I's and dotted your T's ha ha and let's see let me see what this one does this one I think looks for glaring issues and then but it'll come back and give you advice and tell you what you should work on um, dashboard settings. and somewhere I forget where I can get to an overall um, review of my site that it's done. I think it's probably done weekly, but uh, that's it. I think it's a pretty awesome. Oh, you know what? There was one other thing that I, I just loved. Um, do I have one open somewhere else? No, but that's okay. We'll go in here and edit. Um, one other one I, I loved, which I didn't realize until I was doing the work, 
Um, now see, here's one that's also it's optimized a lot. But let's say, so my, my keywords are SPSS macro, right? So what happens if I put it several times? Now, it, it comes up and says, hey, you got to write more between stuff, but check this out. If I highlight over it, it'll show me which one, one, two, and three, and here it's mentioning after the second and third, but I can also click this. Let me try it again. There we go. Now it'll stay highlighted, so I can I can scroll down if it's if it's near the bottom of the page. The other thing, if I remember this right, it says, or use synonyms for, and if you mouse over, of course there's none for SPSS, but macro, right, it'll it'll offer, which I still, for what I do, it hasn't come in that handy, but um, the fact that they, they offer that up right there um, is pretty slick. And uh, so let me undo these guys. That's looking good. And I'm just going to hit update, so this one gets published. But anyway, that's it. Thanks.